how cash buyers can outsmart a car dealer using their own business model against them. It's like a skilled card player's bluff that wins the game and it can be used on both new and used cars. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Back in February of 2020, we published Don't Say I'm Paying Cash at a Car Dealer. And then in June of the same year, we published a second edition of it. And 8 million views later, we knew we had a significant following among the cash car buying public. Yeah. We backed that show up by introducing the amazing Elizabeth into the show here. And since then, Elizabeth, you've acquired quite a fan base of your own here at THG. Yeah, thanks. For you cash buyers, today we're sharing a strategy that you can use to turn the tables on the car dealer's business model and help you get a better car deal with less hassle for you too. By the way, because we know somebody will ask, this strategy also applies to anyone having a pre-approval from their own bank or credit union. So for you guys, this works for you too. Yep. So if you're financing and you've talked to your local credit union like we've advised, listen up. What Kevin is saying essentially is that any cash buyer or even those of you with a bank or credit union pre-approval will be able to go home with a smile on your face knowing you won and be amazed at how easy it was. It's a wonderful thing to use a dealer's love of a willing customer who finances with them and use that appeal against them, saving you a lot of money in the process. So here's what we're going to do. We are totally aware that many of you are in awe of the negotiating prowess of Miss Elizabeth here, but many of you are also quietly admitting to yourself that you can't hold the dealer's feet to the fire like she does. So we've been scratching our heads to come up with a method that a lesser skilled negotiator can use to get a great car deal or at least the best available deal in the current market. And I think we've got it. There's not going to be the need to hold any feet to the fire in this strategy. It's going to be more like time to play the game. It doesn't mean you won't have to do any homework and it doesn't mean you won't have to give any pushback when the right time comes. But this time to play the game, as Liz describes it, will be much easier for many of you who feel you lack the skill and the guts to buy a car like Elizabeth does. Let's start by quickly discussing a car dealer's business model and why we know the strategy will work. For several years now, cash car buyers were at a disadvantage because a dealer didn't want to sell you a car without financing it through themselves. They haven't liked cash buyers for a long time and it's only gotten worse in the current car market. So we decided we have to up our game too. Preferring a loan is totally true of any dealer who has their own finance office. That's the key right there. If they offer financing, they want to use it. Oh, yeah. And they love it when you do. So if you show interest in financing terms, even if you'll ultimately pay for your vehicle entirely in cash or refinance it later, you'll get much better treatment in the price negotiations phase and have an easier time getting rid of unwanted extras and fees in finance. Dealers love buyers who use their financing. They work much harder for a financing car buyer than any other kind of buyer. And this is the game you cash buyers out there are going to play. Why do dealers do this? Because they can fool a typical financing car buyer into costs they hadn't planned on, and it's something you'll have to be on the lookout for. But with the help of some role play, we're going to give you the exact words to say every step of the way. So no worries. If you go out car shopping with the plan to use this method, just come on back and watch it again right before you go car shopping. This is the one time when using the strategy that you'll openly answer the question, how do you plan to pay? Yes, that's right. With this strategy, you don't avoid the question or get defensive about it. This is step one of time to play the game. So when you're asked, how do you plan to pay? You'll respond by saying, I'm interested in seeing what terms your finance office is able to offer. You notice a subtle mood change. With this seed planted, your journey to the end of the car deal just got easier. You won't be treated to a higher price because you said you have your own bank, and you aren't getting whacked with a $1,000 price increase because you're paying with cash. Instead, you'll simply be treated with the price, the price that depends on their financing. There's no pricing penalty of any kind using the dealer's financing options, and you just kicked open the door to some pretty interesting and easy negotiations. And the whole time, you're smirking in the back of your mind. Because you showed interest in financing, they are working hard to get the price where you want it because they believe there's a chance they'll get it all back when you sit down in the finance office. Yeah. There's a little psychology going on here, and it doesn't matter that it's not going to work out for them like they think it will. Sure. As I've said, think of it as a good card player's bluff. Making the other party think you're going down the trail they want you to serves you quite nicely. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out. 
carefully researched for accuracy, and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Let's talk about when you're still sitting with the car salesman and they bring out the payment plan proposal because that's guaranteed to happen. Yes, based on the price you've negotiated, give some thought to where you'd like payments to be as if you were actually going to finance yeah. so you can have a good discussion with them when they come back with a payment plan proposal, showing some genuine interest in payments and not giving in immediately on their proposal can get you more price concessions at this point. Yep. So be ready to negotiate. We have car calculators on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, to help you out if you need them. If you keep saying to them, I really don't want to go over 60 months and I want my monthly payment below X dollars per month, they may try saying, well, you can come up with more cash down, but this back and forth on payments can often lead to a lower price for you. At this point, it's perfectly okay to fill out a credit application, even if you are paying with cash later or plan to refinance their loan with your own credit union. You just want your intentions to appear legitimate. Be aware that FICO combines the credit pull from your own bank or credit union with the dealer bank's pull as just one hard pull after you make your purchase, so there's no harm done. And if you're a cash buyer, the minor effect on credit will be very short term, so it's not really a big deal to play the game with these guys. And think about the money you're saving on this purchase. After you've completed a credit application, this is when it gets real. Now you're in line to go to the finance office. Don't worry, we've got some strategies for you to use there too. We'll do a little role play from here for you to learn from. Liz will be the customer. When you sit down in finance, if you're a cash buyer, almost right away, you want to say. You might have noticed that I don't currently have a car loan on my credit. Yes, I saw that. I don't really like being in debt and I often pay my loan off a little early. So before we write up this deal, I'd just like to make sure that this loan doesn't have an early payoff penalty. No, we don't do that here. But the bank likes it if you keep the loan for at least six months. Great. Pretty much car loans don't have an early payout penalty, but it's worth asking the question. There's just one reason the loan officer states a time frame they want you to keep the loan. They are trying to avoid getting a charge back or claw back from the bank on their own commission. There's no bank policy or regulatory reason. Now, you can't forget to keep your eye out for unwanted fees and extras. If the finance officer offers stuff you don't want, just politely turn them down. You might get some pushback, but at this point, they mostly are wanting your car loan. We'll role play a little of that too. Again, I'll be the finance officer. Liz will be the customer. Uh, Liz, to protect your investment, I'm offering you our most popular warranty program by CarShield. And for a few less dollars, there's also Endurance Extended Warranty. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm just not really a good fit for those. I have a good relationship with my mechanic and I chose this vehicle in part because it's very reliable. Okay, so you're gonna pass on the extended warranty? Yes. The vehicle also comes with an appearance package and it's something we put on all of our cars. I'd prefer not to spend money on that. It's just a commuter car for me. I don't need frills. The cheaper, the better, honestly. I understand. Okay, one last thing. You aren't charging me a bunch of fees, are you? I've been recently reading about the fees the FTC describes as junk fees in their new regulations, and I was kind of hoping you weren't that kind of dealer. No, we don't make a practice of charging lots of fees like other dealers do. Okay, good. Well, let's get this done. With that, the finance officer goes about drawing up the car contract, and soon enough, you're on your way. Did you notice that Liz took a softer approach with the fees instead of threatening an FTC complaint? She simply said she had been reading the regulations. Because you are going with their loan, even if it's just temporary, they are inclined to be more compliant because they don't know it's temporary. Yeah. They are inclined to be much more compliant to let you walk without fees and extras. It's less fight for you to have to wade through. Of course, it's always possible that you'll have no choice but to threaten an FTC complaint to get the fees waived, but only do that if you have no choice. It's less likely with this approach. Your car deal is finally drawn up and your finance officer presents it to you for your signature. Read it carefully, and if they fudge some things, call them out like this. Oh no, there's a warranty plan in here anyway. I didn't want that. Oh, I'm sorry. Our computer system just defaults to adding it. Let's get that cleaned up, and then I'd like you to make sure there aren't any more errors. I'd hate to have to walk out on this after all the time we put into getting it right. You know, she says, I'd hate to have to walk out. That's kind of like a little veiled threat. No, no worries. Uh, I'll be careful this time. Always, always, always read what you're signing. Finance officers are famous for their errors, all of which benefit the dealer every single time. Funny how that works, huh, Kevin? Right. Now that you've signed the contract, 
you're ready to take delivery on your car and head down the road with a big smile on your face. And why? Because you just negotiated a great car deal and you got out of there without all kinds of extra products and unwanted fees. And now you patiently wait for your payment book to arrive in the mail. That's right. It generally takes about a week or so to get your payment book. But once it's in your hand, you can write one check to pay off the balance entirely. Or you can immediately make an appointment with your own bank or credit union and go refinance your car with the lender of your choice. Boom! You just got your cash car deal and you financed with your own lender without any of the usual headaches. Remember why you should play this game? You did all of this to get better treatment up front. A better price with less hassles. It saved you a ton of headaches during the buying process. Made for simpler negotiations and you got a better price on your car all while getting your way at the end. Yep. Isn't that ironic? You see, there are no closing costs for car loans like there are for mortgages, so there's no extra expense to do this. Who cares if you had their lender a week ago and now you got your own banker involved? Who cares if you had a temporary loan with the dealer and had to pay it off after the fact? Does it matter? No. no. And you had a better deal while getting exactly what you wanted in the end. There's nothing the dealer can do to stop you at this point. You haven't broken any rules or violated any laws. You just played the game like a good old-fashioned card shark. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Play the game and use the dealer's business model against them. Remember, if you want to make sure you don't miss our future shows, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also connect with us on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider leaving a tip to help us help the next person. You'll see a super thanks button just below the video and there are links for making a tip in the description box. You can easily find them by clicking on the read more button seen below. Thanks everyone. All right, if you're new here to the Homework Guy channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get the notifications. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.